Evening. Evening. Good evening. Evening. Got some very good news for you. Oh, yes. You'll be very pleased to know you're not the only one who has stuff stolen. Oh, that is good news. <clears throat> Might be a minute. Eggs, yogurt, sliced bread, potatoes, front doors. Someone is stealing front doors? No, no, no. Outside the front doors. That's where they take them from. Ah. I reckon it's sea eye ties. What? Italians. Number 23. Because of the war, you know. And stealing my milk is some form of revenge. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Have a nice evening. <laughs> We've got to get rid of him, you know. Last week he blamed the Japanese in 56. Next week it'll be the Germans on my floor. <laughs> anniversary, darling. Oh. It is today, isn't it? Yes! Look, if it's the wrong sort, I can change it. What? what what's all this? I'm leaving you. Well, when are you coming back? I'm not. I'm going for good. What? What, what for? We're just not getting on. Not getting on? We happen to be very happily married. We're not. I am. I'm not. Oh, I see. So it's not a question of we're not happily married. It's you. Why not? We always seem to be arguing. Rubbish! We're arguing now. No, we're not. We're discussing. We're arguing! I won't let you get me into an argument by insisting that we're arguing. If we're not arguing, why are you shouting? I'm not shouting! I'm not arguing. I'm listening. I'm leaving. Right, now keep calm. Just keep calm. Right. Just keep calm. I am. Now, let's just sit here and discuss it rationally. No! All right, let's stand and discuss it rationally. Evening. Do you realize who I am? No. I'm Arthur Harris, Fiona's husband. You've got a bloody nerve. Sorry? I'm sure you are, now that you realize I'm here. Just how long has this been going on? No, don't tell me. I'm keen to guess. It was last May, wasn't it, when I initiated the new variable accumulation fund. That was it. Fifteen hours a day I worked on that. Fifteen hours a day, and all that time, you was... Come on, out! 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 out. What are you doing? I'm throwing out your boyfriend! He's the taxi driver! I don't care if he is the... Taxi driver. I'm sorry about this. Will you take these to the car, please? OK. I didn't want it to happen like this. I planned to be gone by the time you came home. Let me leave you this note. How traditional. Dear Arthur, I'm sorry, but I've decided to leave you. I just can't stand jiving with you, jiving, living with you anymore. You're just not the man I married. Don't forget to water the plants. Is that all? Hmm? Oh, I forgot to sign it. Feet no, no. You can't just leave like this. Yes, I can. You can, but I love you. I don't love you! Not the best basis for a marriage, granted. But you must see something in me. No, I mustn't. Why not? There's someone else, isn't there? Yes. Don't deny it. I'm not. You mean there is someone else? Yes! I had an idea something like this had been going on. Started about a month ago, didn't it? About two years ago, yes. Two years? What's so special about this? What did you say his name was? I didn't. <laughs> Loaded with money, I suppose. No. <laughs> Obviously younger. No. Bit of an animal in bed, is he? No, he's just more fun. Fun? Ha! What does he do? Wear a funny hat, Wellington boots and leap on you from the top of the wardrobe? No, neither does he come to bed in his underpants, smoking his pipe to finish the Times crossword before wham-bam, good night, ma'am. Fiona, 
I want you to stay. But if you insist in going off with this poor elderly comedian, then I won't stand in your way. Well, have a nice time visiting your sick uncle, darling. This one, please. Okay. You're right. It can't be much fun for you living in this fully carpeted, central heated, luxury apartment with a balcony overlooking Regent's Park. There's a bit more to it than that. True, true. There's a deep freeze, the washing machine, the car, the continental holidays, and those expensive, stunted Japanese blood <laughs> lounging around the place. Oh, very clever. Anyone can slam doors. You've forgotten something. Your new bonsai tree has decided it's a kamikaze tree. Oh, terribly sorry. Sorry. Someone's dropped a plant onto the forecourt. That'll be those Germans. It's bad enough their dog season as a bathroom. Oh, 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 are you all right? I'm terribly sorry about the tree, only I was throwing it at my wife. Well, what did she throw at you? Just a few home truths, I suppose. Hmm. One of them hit you. What? It needs a plaster. I've got some. Oh, no, it's all right. Well, if you ever do need anything, like a cup of sugar, a drink, or something, I'm in flat five. Any time. The lady hasn't paid. Oh, well, how much? Um, how much is it? Twenty-two pounds forty-five. What? What the hell should be in the West Indies? <laughs> sorry, sorry. We went to Victoria Station, then to Euston Station, then to Waterloo Station, then to London Airport. I've, I've, I've got the picture. Twenty-two pounds forty-five pence. Twenty-two pounds fifty. Keep the change. Oh now, 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 Fiona, Fiona, don't, oh, don't cry. Don't, don't cry. Oh, no, no, God! No, 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 you just tell old Tony all about it. Mm? I walked out on Arthur! Oh, poor darling. I, I don't quite know why. I just had enough. I told him there was someone else. And I had been for two years. Oh, I, I hope you didn't think it meant me, you know. Of course not. Oh, I'm sorry I'm causing you so much trouble. Oh, that nonsense. It's perfectly, <laughs> perfectly natural for you to come straight round here. <laughs> Almost straight round here. <laughs> Arthur is my best friend, in spite of the fact he's selfish, thoughtless, mean, shoddy in behaviour. He's not as bad as all that. Oh, Fiona, you are fantastic, unbelievable. <laughs> you only see the good in people. Same again. One more of these, and I'll have rebuilt an entire lemon. Cheers. Cheers. I must be going after this. Going? Where? I don't quite know. You're staying here. Oh, no. I I couldn't possibly. Nonsense. I have a perfectly good spare room. Let me top you up a little. I've got an idea. 
You can sleep in my bed. I'll sleep on the sofa. Hello? Tony, it is Arthur. Arthur? Arthur? The owner's walked out on me. <laughs> Great. Great? Tony, she's left me. I couldn't agree with you more, old chap. Are you pissed, Tony? Yes, yes, yes. Walked out on me on our fifth wedding anniversary. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think Fulham should win. You're my closest friend, but I can't begin to explain how I feel. I mean, she was everything to me. The bottom's just, just fallen out of my life. Yes, yes, yes. And thank God I've got you to talk to. Cheers, goodbye. Well, what did he say? He was, he was fine. Great form. He said that uh, you had left him, but he thought it was probably for the best. Mm. No, no, no. He's determined to enjoy life, and uh, he wants you to do the same. Oh no! Come on! You can't! Oh! Get off! Hello again. Hello. You, you mentioned a, a drink earlier. Yes. Are you alone? Mm, yes. Are you? Mm-hmm. Well, if I came in, then neither of us would be alone. Come on, then. Excuse the mess. You look fine to me. No, I meant. In me. fact, you look bloody great. <laughs> Would you rather have a coffee? Than what? Uh, than a drink. Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, uh, a drink. Brandy? A brandy. Why not? <laughs> well, come on. Uh, yes. A brandy. Mm -hmm. A brandy makes you. Uh... Makes you. Drunk, if you have enough of it. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Why don't you sit down? Oh. I find it so much more comfortable than sitting on the sofa. So it is. You know, I've never seen you quite so... I don't know. We're just so... Pissed. Mm. Ah! Oh, are you all right? Yes. Yeah. You came here hoping to screw me, didn't you? Did I? Did I make it so obvious? Mm -hmm. Oh, perhaps I'd better just... It's fine by me. What? I'm game. No. Why? Do you have a special time when you like to... Uh... No, 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 no. It's just that uh, I uh, haven't finished my drink yet. <clears throat> oh, yes, you have. Yeah. The bedroom's through there. Uh, and the kitchen? Well, you don't want to do it in the kitchen, do you? No, 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 no. Oh, you're hungry. Uh, no, no, it's just that in our apartment, you see, the, the kitchen is more sort of... and, and, and the bedroom is... is, oh, is, oh, is it's is... always the quiet ones, isn't it? Is it? Yes, I uh, haven't cleaned my teeth yet. Oh, well, go ahead. Right, I'll just nip upstairs and get a brush. Oh, OK. 
Come on. There's a guest one in the bathroom. Right. Arthur? Did you find it? Arthur? Are you playing games? to have caught me. I was just about to depart. Are you going away for long? Permanently. Where to? I don't know until I get there. I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I should have explained. I'm going to kill myself. And, uh, how have you been? What did you say? I said, how have you been? Seen any good movies lately? Now, stop it. You're not serious, are you? Oh, absolutely. What uh, films have you seen? Oh, for God's sake! You don't really mean you're going to kill yourself. Yes, I'm not quite sure how to do it yet, but there's a big jar of uh, tablets in the bathroom. I can swallow that lot, no problem. They're aspirins, and anyway, there's only five in it. There's still three over the recommended dose. You're in a funny mood today. I'll speak to you later. Holding a seance, are you? Tony? Yes? He says he's going to kill himself. Arthur? I think he means it. He's only trying to make you feel guilty. I feel guilty! Well, there you are then.
got any odd jobs? What? Got any odd jobs? Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, have you got an odd job? Uh, no, but there uh, might be something you can do for me. Oh. Come on in. I talk. I. Oh, sorry, pardon. Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> nice place you got there, isn't it? Eh? Hey. You switched the lights off. Yes, that's the job. Oh, yes. To turn the lights on. You are? To turn the lights on. Do you think you can do that? Well, switch the lights on? Yes. Yes, yes, very good. But not now. Later. All right? Now, what should we say? Uh, Fiver? Oh. Tenner? Oh, 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 oh. oh. What, just to switch the lights on? Yes. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, Wait until I sit down, all right? Just wait until I sit. Just, uh, just let me get this. You're going to sit over there on that chair. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to... Ah! You could get killed. Yes, I could. You want to get killed? Yes. And I'm to do it? Please. Oh, no, mate. Oh, no. You'd be helping me out in a big way. Yeah, I know I would. So, so you won't do it, then? No, not for ten quid, I won't. Oh, is, is it only the money? It's you bloody right it is. Hey, you know how much they charge you in the East End for a job like this, don't you, eh? Oh, no, no. Five hundred onces. Five hundred, mate. Oh, well, I haven't got that sort of money on me, but oh, I mean, yeah. I, I could write you a cheque. Cheque? No, no, check's no good, is it, for a job like this, eh? You must have something in here worth 500. Oh, but yes, lots of things. I mean, there's the, uh, the telephone answering machine. Eh? Yes, yes. Very useful in your kind of job. Oh, really? What's it do? Yes. Well, you see, if uh, you're out somewhere doing an odd job and someone phones you to... No, no one ever phones. Well, how do you know if you're out? I haven't got a telephone. Oh. Uh, and there's the colour television, you see? Oh, televisions. Well, I don't know about right. that. Well, it's got one of these with it. It, uh, you can play all oh. sorts of games like football oh. and tennis and squash. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'll have it. Well, I'll give you a hand to take it downstairs. Mighty ho. Right. Oh, hold on. No, no. Hold it. Oh. Hold it. Just wait. Just wait. Hang on. Tell you what, I'll kill you first. Oh, oh no. Then it'd be murder. What? Murder. Trying to get this downstairs on my own. No, wait a minute. I could get a trolley, couldn't I? No need for you to worry at all. Listen, tell you what, why don't you give me the keys to the apartment and oh. um, I'll come back when you're uh, deceased. <laughs> right. Right, Tar. Well, on with the uh, execution. Suicide? Eh? Oh, quite, yes. I say. What? Well, if it just burns you up a little, would you like me to finish you off? Burns me up a little? Yeah. You see, hey, look, you will be careful with that thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, <sighs> you see, you could just get badly burnt with this, you know. Oh, I don't want that. I want to go fast, not slowly in agony. Oh, wow. You picked the wrong way here, haven't you, mate? Eh? <laughs> could be bad, that. But, but in America, the electric chair. Yes, in America, yes. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like this, though, does it, eh, in America? I mean, they don't take it out of the electric light sockets, do they? Oh, no. No, the old Americans, it's the whole town's electricity supply goes through that. And then it's... <laughs> oh, straight out. Ooh, what a sight, eh? <laughs> well, what are we going to do, then? Oh, well, this is it, isn't it? It's, um, you know, it's your funeral, isn't it? If it were me, I would... Hey! Aha! No, I've tried that. You can't pull it out of it. Now, your Japs, they use this to commit suicide with. Yeah, they call it Harry, uh, Krishna. Oh, it's a right messy old business. All your bowels and your intestines, liver, stomach and all its contents go all over the place. Makes a right mess of the carpet. That's Persian, isn't it? No idea. Oh, yeah, that's Persian, all right, huh? No, it wouldn't look natural. Well, the great thing about your natural death is that you never know when it's going to happen to you. Hmm. 
I couldn't wait for that. I mean, it could take 20 or 30 years. Yes, quite right. Oh, <laughs> on the other hand, your suicide is different because you know when that's going to happen to you, don't you? I realise Because it's you that's doing it. Yes, I realise that. Yeah. Mind you, you're not too keen on knowing, are you, eh? No. No. Hmm. Listen, I have an idea. What I suggest is that you... <sighs> You leave the whole arrangement in my capable hands. You mean you'll you'll just do it? Yeah, when you're least expecting it. Oh. Yes, it'll it'll just 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 happen. Yeah. Well, that sounds much better. Yes. Well, let's do that then. Righty ho! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Not at all. My pleasure. Uh, uh, well, well. <laughs> don't no, don't fight it. Don't fight it. <laughs> Just relax. It's all right. It won't hurt. That's it. You're supposed to go red. That's me. Oh, me. Oh, God. What the hell do you think you're doing? I am trying to kill you. Look, I told you I didn't want to know when it was going to happen. Well, I didn't tell you, did I? I saw you coming at me. Uh, all right, all right. Listen. OK, OK. Listen, listen. listen. Look. Why, why don't you go and stand over there facing the window and I will sneak up behind you and do it. But I'll hear you sneaking up on me, won't I? I'll, I'll sneak very quietly. Look, I don't think uh, I'm uh, getting uh, through uh, to you. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, I was like, oh, 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 Oh. See the thing? Oh, bloody hell, you're bloody jumpy, aren't you? You did just try to strangle me. You did just ask me to do it, didn't you? All right, look, look, forget about it. Let's, let, let's, let's do it tomorrow, when I'm more prepared. All right, right. that'll be fine by me. Yes. And, and make it sudden. I don't want a, a lingering death. Don't worry. I used to work in a hospital. I know when people are dead, all right. Why? No, listen, I'll tell you what. I know. Why don't you go for a walk in the park tomorrow, eh? Lots of places for me to hide in the park. I see. So I go for a walk in the park and just keep wandering around until I don't. Yes. Right. Until tomorrow. Till tomorrow, then. Well. And not before? No, no, not before. And whatever I say or do, you will still go through with it? Yes. It'll be a pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. Come here. <laughs> Mr. Harris! Oh. 
Cool. Now what? Oh, the other booger in now. I see. Fiona! Thank God you're back! Well, you, you've forgotten something? Yes, I've forgotten how much I love you. Mm. Oh, Fiona! <laughs> Fiona! <laughs> Can you really do forgive me? Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Celebrate! Let's go to the San Carlo. Oh, I'm just going to change my frock. Oh, Fiona! Oh. Felt like a bit of a change. <laughs> Anybody in the hall? No! Anybody near the lift? No, now come on! Nobody in the lift? No, now come on, you don't look that bad. Good afternoon, Mrs. Harris. Mr. Harris. Afternoon. Now what? I'll tell you what, you drive. But you hate my driving. No, I don't. No, I don't. I love it. Excuse me, darling. Uh, do you mind if we change places? Of course not. Cheers. I'll just go to the ladies. Same bottle, but open here. Was Velto, Stolzo. Yes, sir. From the north of Italy, sir. Uh, How is your gin and tonic, sir? Oh, fine. And, uh, Madam's Campari soda. Delicious. Good.
So, taste it. Me? How is the wine, sir? I don't know. He hasn't tasted it yet. I'll taste it. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. His, his mother was Swiss. <laughs> I know nothing about wine. <laughs> I'm from the south of Italy. Mm. Right, let's go. This one, uh, you take the mini. Oh, come on, Sarge. You had that Mustang yesterday. I always get minis or bands, all the dull stuff. When you've got these, laddie, you can do what you like. Until such times as you do have these, you'll do as I like. Enjoy your meal, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Madam? Excellent, thank you. Lovely. Any complaints? No, no. Could we uh, have the bill, please? Not even a small complaint? No, really. No, none. A tiny, tiny complaint? No. Touch! Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> could I... Uh, no. oh, oh. Good food guide. What? Egon Ronnie. Who? Michelin. What? The Times. Oh, the Times. Oh, the Times. Oh, the Times. Oh, thank you. Good day. Goodbye. 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 Ciao. Talk about the Times. No idea. The car's gone. It can't have done. Well, it has. Oh, no. Oh, look, there's a policeman. Excuse me. Our car's been stolen. Where was it parked? Over there. A Grey Rover 3500. Registered number JGS928N. Slight damage to the near rear wing. Anyway, it was our car. Yes, well, double yellow line, you see. No parking any time. I suggest you telephone the police car pound. Look, okay, it wasn't exactly on the double yellow line. I can't help that. Oh, Oi, Terry, you want to go to the police station? Right. Look, I just wanted to show you exactly where the car was. Sorry, I've got to go. Telephone the police car pound. That is typical. Typical, that is. They've got all day long to tow in people's cars when there's real crime going on. They're practiced, a lot of them. If they can spell their own name, they're in. Given a uniform and a little tin bat and a pair of big boots and they think they've got bloody fatties, bloody fatties. I think you'd better come to the station, sir. Ah, uh, I, ah, uh, didn't mean what I said over there. I was on a double yellow line. Just get in the car. Sergeant. 
We've uh, found your car, Mr. Harris. So I believe. We found it in the Thames. What? In the river. Thames. What's it doing in the river? That's what we'd like to know. You see, inside it was one of our sergeants. What's he doing in my car? Drowning. Is he very... Very... Very. But we left it outside a restaurant. On a double yellow line. Sergeant Layton was taking it to one of our pounds, where, in order to retrieve it, we take 26 of your pounds. <laughs> I don't understand. But we do. But what's the matter? I'll, I'll tell, tell you what the matter is. Up to this moment, we thought we were investigating what appeared to be an unfortunate accident. We now appear to be investigating what appears to be an unfortunate murder. Murder? What's it all about? What the sergeant is trying to say is that your brakes and steering were tampered. And therefore, it is just a possibility that somebody is trying to kill you. Thank you, sergeant. It is just a possibility, Mr. Harris. And it would help us in our inquiries if you can think of anyone who bears a, a grudge against you. Like a jealous workmate or a, a spiteful neighbour or a, maybe even a sexual indiscretion that you haven't let us know about. I think he understood the question, Sergeant Martin. Well, that's ridiculous. Nobody could bear a grudge against my husband. He's so ordinary. Think hard, Mr. Harris. Your reply could save your life. Uh, no. No one at all. said. You told the inspector there was no need to take precautions. I said there was no need for police protection. Because you said no one was trying to kill you. Right. What are you doing hiding behind a bush? I might be wrong. Good evening. Good evening. Who's that? How are you? It, it's the nice man from the floor above us. What, the one with the yapping spaniel? <laughs> Arthur, come on. Oh, where'd you pick ah. your... Oh. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. Did I hurt you? Sorry. Sorry. I'm terribly sorry about my husband. You see, he had his car stolen. I'm sure you're all right. Are you coming up, Mr. Kemp? No, thank you. What are you doing? It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll just go and put the lights out. I'm just checking under the bed. <laughs> oh, Christ!
gotta stop. Tidy up in the morning. Enter a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> oh well. Bloody car been stolen, has it? So's your bloody milk. <laughs> <laughs> Only free silk today. Oh, I'll just get some more milk. No, I, I'll get the milk. Milk thief's been at it again. Must be very healthy by now. Arthur? Hmm? Who's trying to kill you? Hmm? Someone is trying to kill you. Nonsense. And you know who it is. Look, if I thought someone was trying to kill me and I knew who it was, I'd tell the police, wouldn't I? Is it supposed to do this? Ah! It's acid! It's him! Arthur! No! I'm not again! Ah! Oh! Sorry, looking for the milkman. Ah! Only left one, Pike. Oh! Let's speak to the caretaker. I say, Mr. Caretaker. Ah! Hey, what's going on here then, eh? Been an accident. Oh, right. what happened? Some bloke swallows some dangerous chemical or something. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> you sure? Not bad, is you? Nah. Eh? Killed him. Oh. Hmm. Caretaker, these flats here. Yeah. That's who found him, was he? No, that's who died. Eh? You hired someone to kill you? Yes. You did that because I left you? Oh, yes. Oh, darling! Oh, oh, Fiona, Fiona, I don't think you get the point. He's still out to get me. Tell him not to. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he is. I know nothing about the man. I don't even know his name. He's mad. And even if I do get to him, I made him swear to ignore anything that I say or do. Call the police. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, officer, but I've just arranged to have myself bumped off. Uh, but I've changed my mind, so if you could kindly muster all your constabulary and stop the man, that would be fine. Oh, by the way, he's just killed one of your sergeants. Sorry, entirely my fault. <laughs> what can we do? Oh. Well, we can wait until he gets fed up with failing, or wait until he succeeds. I know! Let's call Tony! Oh, Tony! It's a good idea. 
Tony, yes. Tony. Mm. Tony, we need help. Get your ass over here. No, don't ask any questions. Mm. He's coming. Good. Ah! It's him! I'll get it. After all, he's not after me. He wasn't after the policeman. What does he look like? He's kind of... with... eyes and... <clears throat> Good morning, Mrs. Harris. Good morning. And Sergeant? Mull. Good morning, Mrs. Uh, Harris. Good morning. May we have a word with you and your husband? Of course. <laughs> Darling, it's Inspector Black and Sergeant Mull. <laughs> Just uh, doing a bit of pruning. <laughs> I'll get straight to the point, Mr. Harris, Mrs. Harris. Are you acquainted with a caretaker in this block? Yes. What's he done? He's died. That's what he's done. He drank a bottle of gold top milk laced with hydrocyanic acid. <gasps> what? When did you last see your caretaker? Uh... Um, last night after we'd left you. Did you, uh, did you notice anything unusual about him? No. Did anything out of the ordinary occur? No, 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 no. A resident in this block states that you were assaulting the caretaker. Oh, yes, uh, that's right. Isn't that a bit unusual and out of the ordinary, or is it a regular sort of occurrence? Well, as I was passing his office, he uh, came out at me rather suddenly. And so you assaulted him? After all, you told him to take every precaution, especially if somebody was trying to... Uh... Kill him? Yes. Did you think the caretaker was trying to kill you? Yes. No, no, uh, yes. Which is it, sir? Yes, no, or yes? Uh, would you like some coffee? Yes. Uh... So you thought he was trying to kill you? No. You just said yes. Oh, to the coffee. Uh, look, I was a bit on edge, uh, you know, because of the car and everything, and the caretaker startled me. Uh, and so, uh, well, look, I did apologise for hitting him. How very considerate of you, sir. Sorry about the question, sir, but you do realise we are investigating two mysterious deaths and, uh, well, you are the only lead we've got. That's a complete mystery to me. Uh, just out of curiosity, sir, uh, these maps on the wall here, and, uh, this. How did they happen? Ah, oh, yes, that would be practising with the sword, you know, to keep fit. <laughs> In here? Oh, uh, well, it's, uh, the bathroom and the bedroom. Too small, you see? <laughs> I told him not to. Yes, she has. <laughs> Two, Two residents, residents of the block saw you rushing around the corridor this morning, brandishing it. Uh, that's because I won't let him practice in here. She won't. <laughs> Help yourselves to milk and sugar. Suicide. What? Is a possibility in the case of the caretaker, but acid, it's such a diabolical way to do it. Mm. Ah! You thought of something. Brandy. What about the brandy, sir? Uh, brandy. That's what I say. <laughs> yes, nothing like it. Drop of brandy and coffee in the morning. <laughs> oh, thank lovely. you very much. Good. No, not for me, sir. Oh, of course, the scotch. <laughs> I'll get the scotch. Milk. Ah. Vodka? Not while I'm on duty, sir. Milk, please. May I? He doesn't want you to have any. Why is that? Because it's condensed. <laughs> Prefer it black. No time for that, Mole. You are on duty. Good day to you both. Good, Good day. day. We'll be in touch. That's right. We'll be in touch. problem. There's something about this business that smells, and it isn't hydrocyanic acid. 
Did you read that somewhere, Mull, or did you just make it up? No, no, I just made it up, sir. <laughs> uh, just a suggestion, sir, and uh, shoot me down in flames if I'm wrong. Sorry, Sergeant. But do you think we should keep a close watch on this Harris block? Do I what? Well, uh, not so much a close watch, uh, more as a, as a, you know, trying to, to keep in some form, you know, trying to keep, well, some, something. Sergeant Mull. Yes. I want you to watch Harris so close that if he so much as farts, I want to know about it. Right, you go around the side, Fiona, and I'll pick you up there. Right. Bye, darling. Mm -hmm. No time for that now. And try to look as though I'm not with you. Right. These acquaintances of yours sound like criminals. Yes, they are criminals. Who else could we go to? Oh, I'm worried. I'll protect you. About Arthur! <laughs> Hello again. Hello. I'm sorry about the other night. I was a bit... Uh... Yes, you were. Mm. Oh, come on. I can't stay long. Yeah. It would be difficult to stay shorter than the last time. Huh. I'm making some coffee. Sit down. Tell me what happened to the caretaker. Yes, isn't it? I know he was a nasty little man, but what a way to go. You want milk? Sugar? Ranger down here with a geezer at top. Right. Come on up. In here. Hello, Batch. Hello, Drea. Hello. Hey. How do you do? Very well, thank you. Hello, boys. Hello. Raymond, Bernard. This is Arthur and Fiona Harris. I'm Raymond. I'm... He's Bernard. So, uh, what's your problem, Mr Harris? Well, there's this man after me. Oh, lucky old you. Call it, Batch. Go on. Well, Tony thought that it'd be a good idea if I had some protection and recommended you. Yeah, well, it depends who's after you. If it's CID or Special Branch, Dead easy. But if it's secret intelligence service or customs and excise, it's not too bad. Here, it's not American Express, is it? No. No, because if it is, no way. No, 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 it's only the, the one man. But he's, he's going to... Well, well, he, 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 he's going to kill me. Why? Well, I employed him to kill me. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but... Well, we better have a few details. What's his name? I don't know. Well, I don't matter. Where does he live? I have no idea. Well, what's he look like, then? Well, he's about that high, and, and he wears a, a berry and a, and a leather coat. A berry and a leather coat. Well, thank Christ we're not in France. <laughs> you could sneak him out of the country. Yeah. Benny Dorm. Two weeks, 3,000 quid. Ooh, that's a bit steep. That includes a new... Passport. Look, you've got your villa, you've got your swimming pool, all the booze you can drink. That's all your I, amenities. Arthur doesn't like Spain very much. Haven't you got anything in Greece? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Um, have you got any odd jobs? Hang on, I'll ask the governor. Oh! <clears throat> Hello, Raymond. No, of course I don't. No, I'll tell you what, let him have a look at the pinball machine. 
Yeah, in my hairdryer. This isn't getting us anywhere. I thought you said they were good. They are good. You know the great train robbery? Yes. Well, they did the catering on that. Yeah. We done 22 Tornados Rossinis, 10 Duck Isla Orange, 8 pizzas, and they drunk... Well, excuse me, Mary. Could you tell me where the, uh, the gents is? Little boy's room, yes. It's through the door. You turn left, then right, then you follow your nose. <laughs> and he's been blown away. Is he dead? dead? Yes, Drea. I can't be seen here to murder. Get me out of here. Right, Tony, you scarp and take the lady. <laughs> right, you stay here with us. These lovely uniforms. Hello, Blackie. How's Vera? Isn't it about time you got a motorbike to go with that outfit? Love you when you're dominant. Blackie. Barnard. Oh, so you are. Here. Yeah. How's Vera? She's fine. Now, what is all this? My oh. wife's name's Margaret. Of course it is. Sorry. Who's Vera then? Let's have a statement. Oh, Blackie, we've got a lot of clearing up to do. I'll tell you what. We'll put one in the post for you. I want it now. Fair enough. My brother, he saw it all. He'll give you the facts. Well, we were sick. I like this. Yes. Look at that. The whole of London spread out before you. Yes, very nice. <laughs> well, to work. We better be careful. Mm -hmm, yes. Let's check the other rooms. Mm, yeah. Yes, I fancy checking your bedroom first. Right, I'll take the kitchen. To you and I never will. Now, will you please get the hell out of here? No, I won't. Go! Oh! 
Silly girl. Must be mad. The telephone! The telephone! The telephone! Who answered the telephone? Dots! It might have been him! It'll be on the answering machine. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Harris. This is your odd job man here. If I thought it was going to be so hard to kill you, I'd have charged you more. Look, I'll see at Regent's Park Zoo at 11 o'clock. Now, you just walk round and I'll find you. Uh, I hope you're well. <laughs> bye bye now. That's it, mate. We're home and dry. What? He's going to kill me. No. We'll all go to the zoo. You two wander around natural like. He's got to come out in the open if he's going to kill you. Then we'll do him. Where you going? Oh. Get round there. Oh, aye, good morning, sir. Uh, no sign of them. They haven't moved yet. What's that, then? I'll drive. Oh, well, no, the license is in the post. I mean, it's one massive weeks and it'll be there. <laughs> Walk a little bit in front of us. We'll do the business, so don't worry. I'll get this. No. Yeah, all right, go on. Black Cadillac, 1948. I'll get these. Two adults, please. Excuse me. Don't be so stupid, Mal. Give the tickets back. Huh? Look natural. You're far too stiff, Arthur. Relax. I'm trying to look natural. <gasps> <laughs> 
You're making yourself far too obvious. What else can I do? Just try and look natural. Ah! Oh! I'm shot! Get an ambulance! What for? I've been shot! I think it's a car backfiring. Uh, new shoes. Back to the beat. Suit yourself. <laughs> See how I could frighten them, you know. Oh, kids would love this. Wish I'd brought them. This is the last <laughs> outing you're going on. What? Just. Stop stuttering! I'm so, so, so. What's he trying to say? My life is in danger, Macratek. Just. Saying? Yeah. Oh, come on, Bert, I'm saying what? A man. Two men. Ma, 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 Christ's ma, sake. Ma, ma, ma. You've just seen mould. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. The job's off. We're just in a copper wing now. What? You, you can't just leave us like this. Oh, come on! You take the brothers. I'll follow Harris. Right. Uh, just a minute. They'll split up. Follow the one with the stutter. We'll get Harris later. Roger. Move yourself, mould. They went to the right. Tell me if they went that way. Oh, yes, sir, the orangutans. Oh, cut that monkey business, the birdhouse. Oh, yes, the parakeets. Oh. Shh! Not him. I said the one with the stutter. How am I supposed to tell at that distance? Follow him. Ooh. Oh, 
little less. Oh, yes, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, left out something. I'll be, I'll be off then. Right. Right. Don't worry. Thank you. Yes. Any time you want an odd job, just, well, perhaps not then. Bye. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, thank God you're safe. Oh, my God, he's gone. He's forgotten it. Quick, quick. The balcony. We might still catch him. You forgot your gun! Eh? You left something behind! You are. You left something behind! Oh, my God, I forgot to tell them about the balcony. Hey, don't lean on the balcony! I've sabotaged the balcony! What? Don't lean on the balcony! You forgot your gun! No! Thank you. 